the path not the tv show i already even mentioned that unfortunately but i'm talking about cross gen bart sears the first you know since i was on the cross gen mention uh those are some good ones man i'm a <laughs> i actually really prefer the first a lot more i like barbara kessel's writing a lot really good she does a great job always um i think the other one was by chuck dixon is that right not my favorite. Ron Mars, again, also worked on a lot of the stuff for CrossGen. Uh, this will be my expose on writers and artists uh, that I can re recall working for them. So that's what I'll basically give you for this one. And then my, my thoughts. Greg Land started there on Sojourn. Pretty good. It's going to be a little scatterbrained. I apologize. That's just kind of, I don't have anything written. I'm just kind of freestyling. Uh, this is my appreciation of CrossGen. I did another video on it. I'll do this one too. I felt like the cross-gen was really great, started by Mark Alisi. I felt like it was really great uh, because it was filling in the niches of other video, uh, or excuse me, every other other comics weren't. And they're all doing superhero stuff or, or whatever, blah, blah, blah. Dark stuff, I suppose you would say. And they were doing the genres, you know, that, that, that weren't getting filled in, and they did a great job. I like that they were ongoing series instead of just a bunch of sh uh, short storylines. Like, that's all that they do in comics nowadays is storylines basically unless you buy an independent series which is i like to do that or you buy like valiant or something great by the way gotta love that i can't wait for rapture but moving right along <laughs> it's 2017 that's a ninja and shadow man collaboration <laughs> but moving right along let's see uh who else did I, what did I like? Way of the Rat was pretty cool. Okay, back to back to the path. Okay, the path. Let's see, I apologize. I won't make this very long. I'm just going to make a short one. Um, that shit was by Bart Sears and used a different style of art. It was fantastic. I really like it. I have a few volumes of that in my room. I have a few volumes of the first. I actually like that a lot more. The artwork, it's his usual style. I really appreciate that big god-like whatever. you. There's supposed to be gods in it. But I guess that's what you would call the like big giant-looking you know, Lee Feldian <laughs> characters, I suppose, or just big brute motherfuckers like he used to do the Brutes and Babes for uh, Wizard Magazine way back when, because I'm an old guy, just like my uh, style of shirt. I'm an old cat, man. What can I say? I like the old school, man. Uh, the path was cool. It was that right? It wasn't as well written was my big problem. And the first was very well written. It wasn't about action. It was about building characters, which is cool different from most comics. It was kind of like, like I said, like I compared it to a, a Warlock from the 70s by Jim Jim Starlin. And those are fantastic. I really like those. I actually have a little stack of those. And now I'm not saying I'm that old. Not near that old. <laughs> Just happened to go buy those. But, uh, that shit's great. The Path. Pick it up if you see it ever. You'll love it. My, uh, what else did I really like? Sigil. Sci-fi. Really, uh, well done. Samandal Ray was the main guy, and uh, it was really cool. I liked that one a lot. They're fighting the Saurians, who were lizard aliens. When they ate something, they turned kind of into, uh, morphed into that a little bit. And so they could, they could understand the language and everything. Really interesting. Great, well done stuff. Lucerid was the, the bad guy, I think, you know. <laughs> Let's see. Scion was pretty cool. I have a lot of those. Big fan of those, too. I'm pretty much a, a fantasy like story but kind of like a little star wars ish because it had technology too so it was cool it was interesting no complaints for those ones those are all really well done negation uh, that one was my real a really great one negation was kind of like a, a escape a prison world or something like that and uh starred obadiah strain uh, no shit i can't remember the dude's name right now abragon kane excuse me <laughs> That shit was really cool. I have I have a couple volumes of that. I have at least four volumes of that. Big fan. And what else could be mentioned? Uh, I don't know, but that's there's my mostly my video for for uh, Cross Gen. All I can say is is they don't get enough appreciation. If you see their books, buy them. You will enjoy them. You will not be let down. If you're a fan of modern comics or old school, it's pretty much the transcendence between the two. But I like that it was actually ongoing stories instead of the usual uh, little six issue, you know, storylines. I get kind of sick of that over time. Why you got to do the same thing every single time? And 
and it's always you know the same i'm not into superhero comics really i have an older guy i moved on from that aside from valiant it's the only thing i really pick up but that's that's the end of my video on it check out anything cross gen you see if you get a chance people and if you're buying modern stuff buy valiant it's really great you won't be let down it's about the best stuff on the shelf or, or image so i'm not gonna make any more videos for a little while this is what you're getting people take care